So before I ramble and expose myself, let me give y'all a breakdown about Zoe Simone. I hope I don't get emotional because I'm a very emotional person. If you don't know, I cry a lot. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> I do cry a lot, but okay, moving on. First thing first, I just want to say thank you to everyone that responded to the video. I didn't think it was going to go like that, but it did. So with that being said, I just want to say thank y'all. Like, I'm shook. <laughs> Today I'm going to expose myself. So it's story time. So yeah, it's early in the morning. My whole house is still asleep. I had to get up early at the crack of dawn and get ready and just get kicked for y'all. So sit back and enjoy this video. So the first thing I want to say, it was an April Fool. It's it's real. So it's definitely real. We are expecting our fourth child. I'm super excited. I am. I really am. I mean, I'm gonna give y'all a story. The reason why I'm happy, okay? So first thing first, the reason why I never tell my family that I'm pregnant is because everyone is so judgmental. What I mean by that, they say things like, are you sure you want another child? Why did you do that? Why are you pregnant? They make all these gestures. And the first thing come to my head is like, you're not taking care of them. I don't ask you to watch them. I don't ask you to do anything. I got them. So with that being said, I'm creating a family, a real family. So Janiyah already know if something happens to me, she is in charge of her brothers and sisters. Trent. This is going to be Trent. It's going to be a boy. Every time I become pregnant, I like to tell God what I want and I get it. Like, I wanted Zoe and I got Zoe. I already know what some of y'all are saying. Y'all are saying, like, slow down. Dang, y'all ain't playing. Like, why y'all bringing more kids into this world? Or why y'all doing this? Yeah, at the end of the day, we a real family. Like, we're going to be good regardless. Like, at the end of the day, nobody is taking care of this family. For six <laughs> to be, nobody's taking care of us but my husband. So with that being said, if I want to have a whole basketball team, a football team, I can. Like, I really can. Like, we building a family. We building black kings and queens. Like, we just going to really show them like how life's supposed to be like. How you don't need to be in debt? How you don't need to get all these student loans? Because we got a lot of student loans. We're going to show them how life's supposed to be. What our parents didn't show us. I know a lot of people just like, I can't believe it. Like, dang. But you know what that being said? Not being racist. I'm not racist. But in the black house, the parents always meant, you pray to the kid, you this, you, you. Swear to God, in a white household, they happy. She could have them back to back. She's pregnant again. Oh my goodness, we have another baby. We have another grandchild. I'm so excited. We don't get that. And with that being said, when my children do have kids, I'm gonna be excited. I'm gonna accept them. No, they're not gonna have them young, but they're gonna have them. Like, I wanna be a grandma. I don't wanna be like, don't call me grandma, call me Gigi. Uh-uh, call me grandma. Come on. <laughs> grandma got you. What you need? Grandma, can I, can I get, yeah, come on. Grandma, grandpa, can I get this? Yeah, that's how we gonna be. Like, we just building it. Like, that's how it is. Like, we going to build a empire for our family. We building family. Like, we really building family. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. Because it ain't no other way around this. We ain't going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to be like, y'all. So, with this pregnancy, y'all, I want to be happy. I want to record everything. I just want all of the negative stuff. Y'all can leave it where it's at. Because I don't count. I don't count about none of that. I don't care about none of that. I'm just going to sit back and just relax. I know y'all probably want to know how far I am. I don't know. <laughs> We've been in this quarantine, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll say maybe 10 weeks. Maybe give or take 10, 11 weeks, something like that. I don't know. We'll find out. We won't find out until May. It's a long time, but that's the only date they can get me in but yeah I'm, 
I get excited. Short, sudden. He need to last night. So before I ramble and expose myself, let me give y'all a breakdown about Zoe Simone. I hope I don't get emotional because I'm a very emotional person. If you don't know, I cry a lot. <laughs> That's just me. I, I do cry a lot, but okay, moving on. So we didn't tell anyone we was pregnant with Zoe because I was high risk. I didn't care about anybody saying I was pregnant again. I didn't care. So first, we moved into this house October the 1st. And then November the 1st, we found that we was pregnant with Zoe. And it was like, it was like a blessing. So the lady was like, you're pregnant. I'm like, lady, don't do this to me. I'm not pregnant. And she's like, you are. I'm like, no, I'm not. And she's like, look, it's a baby right here. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not even to believe it. And the reason why I didn't believe her, y'all, this is why. Before I had Zoe, I had two miscarriages. And like, it traumatized me. And I was like, okay, I'm too old. I'll never have another child again. Like, it's over with. Like, Troy's the last child. I'm gonna have two, and that's it. I always wanted more kids. Like, I just love family. I'm a family person. If y'all know how I dress us alike, we're gonna take pictures, we're gonna do this. My family hate taking pictures, but guess what? I'm mama, so you gonna take these pictures. I'm about to cuss. I'm working on it. So, that's just me. So, she's just like, um, you pregnant? And I was like, okay, I'm pregnant. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. But with that being said, I was pregnant and I was in a bad place. I wasn't in a good place being pregnant with Zoe. And that's the only thing I regret. Cause like I wanted a child so bad and I just wanted to record step by step. I wanted to do videos. I've been new, I wanted to do YouTube. And I like, okay, I'm gonna get myself out here. I'm gonna just do like a family YouTube channel. I like, I put the hair and stuff on there, but I'm a family person. So I wanted to do family YouTube. So she's like, you pregnant? And like I said, I was in a bad place. And if one thing that I can take back when I was pregnant with Zoe, like if I was in a good place, like I stressed so bad, like my stress level was through the roof. I break it down, like why I was so stressed out. So let me just take it way, way, way back about how I just say my family is so judgmental. The reason why they judgmental, because that's just who they are. I don't know why, they just, they just are. And I just believe like when I was younger, like my whole family just assume, assume that I must have been perfect. I'm not perfect. No, I'm not. I just wanna let people know around the world, nobody's perfect. Like my family thought I was this perfect child. Like she do this, she do that, she do that, she gonna do this. I didn't wanna do that, but I wasn't perfect. So I couldn't make no mistakes in life. Like I had no room to bump my head. And so when it came to get kids, that's how it was. So with Janiyah, I was pregnant with Janiyah. I hid my pregnancy. That's how judgmental my family is. I wrote my mama a letter and left her on her pillow. I left her house, called on the phone. I said, mama, it's a letter under your um, pillow, go read it. I wrote my mama a letter. I can't remember what I said, but I definitely wrote her a letter. I told her I was pregnant, I was running away, and I was never coming back. P.S. my brother and Vicky, they pregnant too. So guess what, my mama had two kids in her house and was having babies. I wasn't gonna get in trouble myself. I told on them too. They hated me, but I told them. I did that so she could get on my back a little bit. So I'm like, okay, we all in a hot chair. So shit, it's over with. Everybody in the hot chair. So my mama called, she was like, she to come home. I'm like, nah. Cause like I said, they already thought I was this perfect child. They wanted me to be so perfect. So I swear to God, I came home, we talked about it. Like I just snapped. I went crazy. Like, I don't know why, I just went crazy. I, I set the kitchen on fire. I don't know about the strip, I don't know what it was. I set the kitchen on fire. And we had this big deep freezer, and I'm just like, I just kept running to the deep freezer. My mom like, calm down, calm down. And I was like, I don't want to be pregnant. At the time, I didn't want to be pregnant, because like, I already told y'all, they were so judgmental. And everybody in my family, they were just so judgmental, and they just really thought highly of me. And I'm just like, I mean, it's cool to think highly of me. I, I appreciate that, but damn, let me bump my head. Growing up with my friends, my friends were some hoes. <laughs> Like for real, I wasn't. Like, my friends, they ran the street. When the weekend came, I swear to God, I was in middle school. It was called Freaky Friday. They ran the streets and, like, they was gonna have sex. I wasn't. Everybody already know Nala, that's they used to call me. Nala wanna have a sex. Like, and she ain't going. She ain't going. And I wasn't. Like, I wasn't the thought. I wasn't out here trying to dip in everybody because I already knew one day, like, I did wanna be married. Let me go, because I'll tell you, I'll tell you my whole life one day. 
So, um, I was rubbing my stomach to the D phrase, and I'm like, Mom, you know, I don't want to be pregnant no more. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want this. Like, I was running track. Like, I was good in track. I posted one to the Olympics. I was that good. And then I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm not going to get no abortion. Like, I got to do what I got to do. I was grown enough to do what I did. So, I got to take care of her. That's when Janaya came, man. It was real rocky. It was rough in high school with a child. But at the end of the day, like, it was so many people dropping out because it was pregnant. But me, like, bro, I was never embarrassed. Like, I didn't care. Like, I wasn't embarrassed. Like, I'm never embarrassed. So I went to school. Hey, I did what I had to do. I'm pregnant. Like, it didn't matter. My brother had graduated. And I was like, dang, I'm going to be just like my brother. I'm going to graduate. So with that being said, I had tonight. And, bro, I graduated. Yeah, high school, y'all know I met my husband. So I met him. And then, like, a little bit after that, we ended up getting pregnant. Don't nobody know this. So I'm about to expose myself. Maybe two people. Some people maybe thought about it, but oh well. So we got pregnant. And we was like young at the time. Again, scared of what people wanna say. And yeah, so we had an abortion. And we was just like, dang, like we really had abortion. I got there and he was like, you really wanna do it? I'm like, bro, you know, it ain't nothing else we could do. You young, he wasn't nothing but like 15 or 16 at the time. I was 16. And I'm like, yo, people gonna snap out. You know, I already met this older chick and they about to, they fit to go crazy on you. So we, we had an abortion. So after that abortion, so I had a miscarriage in 2011 and then I had another one in 2016. So I was like, dang, I never in my life have children again. So it's a wrap. So I was like, okay. And I said, baby, you know what? This guy, well, like, we'll never have a baby. Cause we aborted that child and God just like really showing us like, bro, you don't do that. You killed a whole human. So if y'all want to judge me or school, I can, I can take it. Cause like, like I told y'all, they don't bother me anymore. At first it did, but it don't bother me anymore. So we had that um, abortion and then after that we had miscarriages. And it was like the worst, the worst feeling, worst thing ever, ever to go through. And I was like, we'll never have a child today. I was like, God is punishing us. So, back to Zoe. So, when the lady said was pregnant with Zoe, I'm like, no, you're not. And she's like, yes, you are. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do this. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on pins and needles. I'm not going to do anything. I'm like, God, give me a second chance. I'm going to give me another girl. And I'm going to put some clothes on her. I'm like, nah, y'all going to dress like good tonight. Like, like, no, we're not. <laughs> I'm like, yes, y'all are. He's like, mama, no, we're not. I'm like, but you're my baby girl. She's like, no. You're gonna have your girl, and that's gonna be your baby girl. We end up getting pregnant. We had a, we had the two miscarriages, and God blessed us. And like now we're pregnant again, so I'm like, man, that's a blessing. That, like that's why I'm not mad. I just feel like God said, "Hey, you lost two. Now you just gained two. Y'all ain't just back." So this is Trent right here. Zoe and Trent. Y'all already know that. So if y'all don't know, we didn't know what Zoe was. We waited until I pushed her out to know what she was. And she was a girl. I just kept calling her Zoe. I was like, I'm gonna have a baby girl. Her name gonna be Zoe. Me and I called her Zoe. Dad and Troy called her Trent. Even though she wasn't a Trent, but that's what they called her. So, yeah, so like I was saying, I was going through the worst, the worst, worst thing ever. Like, I'm about to get small for stuff again. Like, me and my husband, we about to get a divorce. 2018 was the worst year of my life like it was it was hard like but with that i kept fighting i kept fighting and to me i just feel like that's one reason why zoe came early if y'all don't know zoe came two months early which i was under so much stress like it was just i just couldn't shake it i just my face was broke out y'all yeah, seen the videos like, it was the worst. Like, I had lost myself. Like, I really had lost myself. I didn't know what to do. Like, I was a bad person. I really was. And my husband, like, he just was like, bro, I'm done. Like, I'm about to leave you. I remember me asking myself, like, do you want this marriage? Or you just want to let it go? And then I was like, okay, y'all been together 10 years. Because at the time it was 10 years. I'm like, do you want to start over? Or do you want to continue these 10 years? Or do you want to continue these, these 10 years in a better environment, better place, better everything? So like I said, um, we was, we was, 
man, it was bad. It was all bad. I can't lie. I'm not for the sugar coating for y'all. Like, it was bad. So I was like, you know what? Let me do some research. So the first thing that I um, researched, I typed in my phone was um, marriage counseling. I'm like, all right, let me get some marriage counseling and you know, it's gonna be work. He refused marriage counseling. He's like, I don't need marriage counseling, you need it. I'm like, bro, I can't do it by myself. Like I need some help at this point. He's like, nah, you, uh, he like, you made this problem, you fix it. And I'm just like, he was just to the point, he was like, he was just ready to go and I'm just like, Bro, I made a fucking mistake. Like the biggest mistake in my life. I like, it was a mistake. He like, nah, it's not a mistake. You don't, he, he, he taught me. He like, if you love a person, you don't do stuff that hurt them. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm trying to cry because I'm trying to cry, baby. And I'm just like, if I didn't get nothing from that, like I understood, like if you love a person, you don't do anything to hurt them. And I was like, man, you're right. And now I never forget, I picked up the Bible and I was like, God, I want my marriage. Like, fix my marriage. Like, I really, really want it. And I just prayed every night, prayed every night, prayed every night. Oh, I just, I I went through it, y'all. Like, I really went through it. And then the, 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 the crazy part about that, I'm that person, like, everybody confides in me. Everybody. But when it was time for me, no, I had nobody. I had nobody to turn to. Nobody called on me. Nobody checked on me. When I had Zoe, nobody came to the hospital. Nobody did nothing. I'm trying to cry. So I went through this pregnancy, stressed out, almost in a divorce. And at the end of the day, I had nobody. I had nobody. I'm that friend cousin, family member, like whenever somebody in our family get pregnant or anything happen, they call me. I promise to God, they call me. And the reason why they call me is because they like, they already know I keep secrets. Like I'll keep the darkest secret. I don't, if you tell me something, bro, I will never tell it. And that's just me being me. Like I never go gossip about he say, she say, or like, if you tell me so many people, and I'm not saying nobody names. So y'all, if y'all watch this video, y'all know who y'all are. So many people have came to me, called my phone, Shauna, I'm pregnant. And they already know I'm not judgmental at all. First thing I'd be like, man, congratulations, cousin. I no matter what, I never be like, you're pregnant again, again. I always say, congratulations. Hey, be happy with this pregnancy. Don't let nobody be like, it's your third child, it's your fourth child, it's your sixth child. I always say, congratulations, because you just, like a, a baby is a gift, a gift from God. I guess you don't need nobody nagging you or putting more stress on you because you already dealing with hormones. You're dealing with you ugly. You're dealing with you fat. You're dealing with you can't find in the world. You're dealing with a lot. So me being this cousin, this big sister, this friend, whoever y'all consider me as, I always say, congratulations. Like, hey bro, you, you got this. Like I always say, you got this, you got this. And I really can say, out my family always looked out for me with my intention. Like no matter what. I ain't I don't talk to her in weeks, months, days. <laughs> she gon' she gonna find a way. Nani you good? And then she got me Nani. Nani you good? Like Nani you good? Do this, do this. You, how, how my nephew doing? I know he on the road working. It's like she she know. Like she already be knowing. Like she didn't know. She came to the hospital. She definitely came to the hospital. And my auntie, she always, she, she always check on me though. She always check on me. I forever love her for that. I ain't nobody but God. That's, that's the only person that I had. And my kids. And y'all, when I say it was the worst thing ever, it was the worst thing ever. Just looking back on it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even cry about it. Like I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying not to be so emotional about it, but <sighs> but yeah, so that was that. And I think before I went to labor, we had a big argument. He's like, when I get home, I'm just going to go ahead and get the papers. And I, at that point, I'm tired. I'm like, okay, get them. Just get them. I'm like, just get them. Like, I don't care anymore. Like, I'm tired of crying. I'm tired 
or whatever. And then I'll never forget. Um, Naya called me, she was like, Mama about to get her head baby. And he was a new one. And he just called me, he was like, I love you so much. I love you so much. He was like, don't push that baby out when I'll be there. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm already back. We just got the argue. And I'm just like, okay, I won't. And right then I knew, I'm like, okay. It's still life. It's still life, you guys. It's still fucking life. And he came. He made it. He came. He made it to the hospital. And it was go time. Like, we was ready to go. It was really go time. And he gave me a kiss. He kissed me on my forehead. Yeah. And he like, baby, you're so beautiful. And I'm just looking at him like, really? You really think I'm beautiful? And he like, where your eyelashes at? Swear to God. Swear to God, he asked where my eyelashes at. He put my eyelashes on, and I had some braids in my hair. He unbraided them. He like, you're going to be cute delivering this baby. You finna get out of there. Today. Mama looking cute. I'm going to put your lashes on. Come on, baby. Somehow do this. We need to make, make up. Um, now, with a makeup kit, we need you to move a little faster. With a makeup kit, I'm going to put mama lashes on. It's time, boo. Shrink or Zoe, here you come. I don't know how to style it. You want to put your hair me? Huh? You want to put your hair me? No, I'm talking about like, kind of style it. Thank you, Sam. I like so he said no trend and we pushed her out and it was only so i just want to let y'all know if you're going through anything like it's a way it's a wheel everybody on social media been asking us how we stay together so long my answer to y'all is god prayer and strength like those three things and of course the kids like he not leaving his kids now when they get older he might leave my ass <laughs> but he ain't gonna leave his kids because we're gonna have a hell fight over that ass one thing here y'all i'm shook like y'all really reached out to me and broke me and that's love that's real genuine love people so I had to expose myself to let y'all know the real me. Cause I don't want y'all to think I'm around here faking it. I'm not, cause I'm not perfect. So everybody that just think I'm living this fancy life and I'm perfect, I'm not. I have problems too. I have problems just like everybody. The reason why y'all know I have problems, cause y'all don't ever ask me. Y'all on the outside looking in, everybody had problems. People always ask, do you and your husband arguing? I go, motherfucker, I'll be ready to beat his ass. <laughs> we always argue. Not every day, but I ain't gonna lie. We in a good place now. We really in a good place. Cause like I told y'all, that year we was battling. We was like about to go toe for toe. I had to throw a blow at his ass, like for real. I'm about to pick something up cause he already tall. Like, boom. But at the end of the day, like, it's my giant. I gotta. My job. I, I had nobody tell me. No, nobody pick up the phone and be like, cause you need some, cause you're so good over there. Like I gotta tell y'all, so was born two months earlier. She stayed in the NICU. Like the worst thing ever. I had to leave her. I broke down that day. I broke down. Nobody came to the hospital but my sister in law. I had to beg my mama and grandma to come. My grandma didn't come. I had to beg my mama to come. Like it was, it was, it was bad. And like I said, I was going through. You just, you just never know what a person is going through. Nobody just never called. The only time they call is, no lie, when my husband used to put something up. And they're like, what Duke talking about? Fuck what Duke talking about. Ask me, are you okay? You just trying to be nosy at this point. So to know me is to love me. Like that's the only thing you can do. Like, you know, that's all you can do is love me. Thank y'all for being so supportive. But yeah, I just want to say thank y'all for watching the video. And y'all already know I'm out.